हाय फ्रेंड्स राइट नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू अबाउट द सिलियरी बॉडी एंड दिस इज द आई वाल दिस इज द कॉर्निया एंड नाउ आई हैव टू ओपन इट वेन वी विल रिमूव द कॉर्निया वी विल सी द आईरिस ग्लो एंड वेन वी विल डिवाइड द आई वाल वी विल ओपन इट एंड यू विल सी इन साइड द रेटिना दैट ऑरेंज कलर इज रेटिना बिलो दैट लाइज द कॉरइड एंड आउटर वन द वाइट वन इज द एस्कलरा एंड वेन वी विल सी इन साइड कैन यू सी कैन यू अप्रिशिएट दैट ट्राइंगुलर पोर्शन दिस इज द सीलियरी बॉडी दिस वन इज द आईरिस दिस इज द सीलियरी बॉडी एंड दिस इज द पीपल which you can see from the front like this and uh, when we'll make a transfer section we will cut i wall like this then you will come and see the diagram like this now try to understand this is the sclera this is the retina and this dot 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 is the continuation of the retinal pigment the ciliary body the ciliary body is the continuation of the choroid so here you can see there lies a imaginary triangle i am just made this triangle so as to make you understand I'm putting it like here mm. now friends let us try to understand this triangle this is the anterior side of the triangle which is lying against a point where the eye chamber is divided into the anterior and posterior the anterior part anterior chamber and the posterior chamber here and this is the part where the iris is also attached now try to understand the outermost side of the triangle the outermost side of the triangle is against the sclera now try to understand the innermost side of the triangle the innermost side of the triangle is divided into the two part the first 2 mm of this triangle is having a finger like projection can you see this finger like projection these so this is known as the pars plicata and the rest 4 mm the rest 4 mm is against a plane surface so it's known as the pars plana the outermost condensed part of the stroma is known as supraciliary lamina again i want to tell you that uh, this the pigmentation of retina is continued as its outer epithelium layer which is the pigmented and below this lies a sensory layer which is the non pigmented epithelium let me try to understand the functions of the ciliary body the function of ciliary body is through this a help in accommodation of the lens here is the lens and the formation of aqueous humor 